definitely going to need this stuff for the live, man. It's not as hot as it's been, but still. All right. In an effort to protect my sanity when it comes to actually editing and getting this video down, I think what I'm going to end up doing is simply taking this one step at a time. Um, so I'm going to do one building. You're going to get like a lot of just raw unedited exploring footage one building at a time and when it comes to the upload process and everything instead of having you know a, a an hour and a half video or two hour video that i gotta try to get uploaded i will end up just uploading building by building over the course of like the next week so this place though is pretty crazy this is the first time that i have been in this particular building even last time when i was here i was not in this building so <clears throat> it's crazy because there's even like aunt sally and uncle fred just the stuff that was left behind here is just so crazy there's so many papers and things like that. It seems like, actually based on those pictures, that this may be a younger children's side. There's some newspapers. October 12th, 2004. Some graffiti over there that I'm not going to show on my YouTube channel. It is crazy the stuff that people will come out here and do. It's like, why? It says, don't break my heart. It's not necessarily, all, it's not worse than the picture of a thing there, but. I just don't understand why people put some of this stuff on the walls that they do. Let's make it through here, huh? In one piece at least. So I have the bathroom rules on the wall. Don't splash. So crazy. People really just come in and turn stuff over too, which I don't understand. I would have liked the opportunity to explore this place as it was. Dear parents, bilingual program for the students, supportive services. There's even, even just mail left behind here. Schoolwork from 2005. Yeah, so this is like the second grade side. I thought it was for younger kids. Based on the schoolwork that's left behind. 
to Mrs. King. That's so cute. The setting and the backdrop here. is absolutely beautiful. And that is such a shame. I thought the TV was gonna be a little intact, but it has been broken in. Hot dill pickles. out the uh, front door here and see where to go next. I guess this building. And I think I can cover this one in this video, you know? This can all be one. And then I'll go do that building and that'll start the, the next one. Furniture left in this one, kind of bigger furniture. The old water fountain. Here's the playground. This classroom as a kid would be hard to have. <laughs> You're sitting there at your desk looking at the playground all day like, um, no, excuse me. Lord's never warm. No, oh, excuse me, I think I wanna go play at the playground, please. Canadian Indians final rodeo November 18th through 21st 1999 learning language with the story box So there's a rumor 
actually about, I don't know, not specifically about this school. There is a rumor though that these schools were actually so bad and the teachers were so awful that there are multiple of these BIA schools that have unmarked graves on the grounds from teachers beating students to death and those students not having any family or anything like that. So they knew who they could get away with stuff with. And even the teachers <clears throat> or the students that had family, they would often be very mistreated and beat. Um, these schools are the reason why a lot of native language actually went out. So you hear like, you know, the Navajo language for a long time was basically disappearing because nobody spoke it anymore. And that's because a lot of the students, when they came here, they would get beat for speaking the language. Because these schools, they were trying to essentially, what is it called? I think assimilate. I think that might be the word that I'm, I'm basically looking for. But yeah, they would, they were trying to make these students not have their original culture. Some interesting graffiti in a couple of these rooms. Some salt. Newspapers and books and stuff. and stuff there too. Advanced elementary physical fitness. Stuff's all piled down in here, the doors. 1965 transistors. find my way back out of here. September 8th, 2004. <clears throat> Let's see if this is like a, yeah, it's a textbook. classes. Okay, guys, so all one series, but the next building or set of buildings is going to be a different video. And uh, I'll probably post it tomorrow. So these are just going to come out every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.